spirit is calling you to make some sort of decision. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading for August the 17th through the 23rd. I hope this video will be of help to you. So Scorpio, um, all four decks have been pre-shuffled. You received one card that came out in the pre-shuffle, the chariot. The chariot indicates there's going to be some sort of movement in your love life. Now, hopefully we'll see what that movement is with the tarot. If we do not, we'll pull more cards on this. Definite movement though. Definite movement. Could also be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart. So let's go ahead and let's split our decks. And we will jump right into your reading, Scorpio. Scorpio, for those of you that are dealing with a Pisces, you showed up continually in the Pisces reading. Your King of Cups card showed up four times in the extended and the regular. Four times. All right, so you have a leg up. A leg up says, you know, go to your friends and family if you're in need of, of extra assistance, extra help, extra support, and you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So live in the moment, Scorpio. Live in the moment. All right, my dears, we have the judgment card for you. We have the six of swords for your person. The eight of cups, the eight of pentacles, the fool. Let's move this. Okay. And the world. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here's our surprise ending. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Our Wounded Warrior, Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Four of Wands. Five of Swords. Oh my, you've got some really tough energy, Scorpio. Page of Wands with the Fool. And the Sun with the World. Okay. And our surprise ending. Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands um, indicate that there's somebody on your mind, Scorpio. Somebody, somebody, hey, to break it to you. From the past, my dear Scorpios, um, the Six of Cups is a desire for reunion. Desiring to reunite with somebody, having been very perseverant, perhaps you've been waiting on somebody to reunite with someone and you've not given up, you've not, not given up on the connection because the Nine of Wands doesn't give up on anything. Or perhaps your person has not. The Nine of Wands is that that recognition that right around the corner will be that reunion. So that's beautiful. All right. So I do see movement. So the chariot has become very, very clear in your ending. All right. So Scorpio, for you, we have the judgment card and the four of pentacles. Spirit is calling you to make some sort of decision. The judgment card could be a need to extend forgiveness or express your regrets to someone. It's forgiveness and atonement. Four of Pentacles, though, is you. It's you holding on tight to something. You holding on tight to something and not letting go. Perhaps you're wanting a second chance with the person represented in this. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups cards. 
Your person has the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords. They are moving away from their fears, their doubts, and their worries. They're trying to release their fears. They're trying to, to let any kind of fear and worries go so that they can move forward in their life. Some of those fears and worries could have to do with you. It's possible. Now, in your hopes, Scorpio, your hopes are interesting. In your hopes, we have the Eight of Cups and the Four of Wands. If somebody's walked away from you, you're hoping that, you know, it's not it's not forever, that they, they still want to be with you, that they have a desire to see you, they have a desire to connect with you. Um, usually though, when we get the Eight of Cups, this is you wanting to go find yourself, you leaving a toxic situation in favor of harmony and togetherness. You could be leaving a situation to head towards a twin flame union here with this Four of Wands. So, but it's, it's you choosing choosing a better path than the one you're already on. Making that decision to head out towards the moon. You have the moon in, in two, three cards. You have a new moon here. So this person is wanting a new beginning. You have a full moon here. You're wanting, you're wanting to end a situation in order to have a new beginning. What needs to change? We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. There's some sort of um, there's some sort of communication that's not on the same page. Somebody has been deceptive to you in the past. This may be the person that you're trying to walk away from. Um, somebody's been deceptive. Somebody's lied. Somebody's been on the the wrong page with regards to communication. And like I said, since this is moving away from something toxic, it could be what you're leaving. At the root of everything, Scorpio, you want a new beginning. You want a new beginning. You want happiness, you want fun, you want enthusiasm. You don't want to feel like you're stuck in a situation. You want happiness. And I see you ending something, Scorpio. I see you ending, ending something with the world. Could be ending something with a Leo or a Cancer. Um, or another fixed sign. But if that's not the case, this is you saying, you know what, I'm getting very clear on what I want and I'm putting an end to the things I don't want. And I'm moving forward towards this reunion, this reconnection here. Because you want a fresh start. You want to walk away. I think you're standing up for yourself and saying, yeah, that's exactly what I want. And getting very clear on that. All right, so outcome. <laughs> you have to make a decision on whether or not you're walking away. See, <laughs> there's the Eight of Cups. That's your hope. It's more or less, it's not whether or not you are walking away. It's how do you walk away? Eight of Wands, action. What kind of actions do you need to take in order to make this a reality? You're setting out on a brand new journey, Scorpio. I don't know where you're headed, but you're setting out on a brand new journey. Like I said, could be to a twin flame for those of you um, that see the Four of Wands as such. But this is you saying, all right, I need to figure out how do I communicate? How do I move forward towards what I want? How do I, how do I, you know, step out on that journey? Notice we have the page has this has, you know, a little sack on this broom. We have this guy who has this little sack. It's like you are ready to move. You are ready to get going. Because you have, it's like you have something awaiting you, Scorpio. And you're aware there's something awaiting you. You may need the help of your friends. That may be why a leg up is here. All right, my dears. So we have, um, Several different signs showing here. I will read them out to you, Scorpio. Please don't put a ton of stock in them though. Um, we have Capricorn, we have Scorpio, we have Aquarius, we have Gemini, we have Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, all four six fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. We have Pisces, 
Pisces and Aries. We have Sag and Scorpio. Almost everybody. <laughs> All right, my dears, let's see what we're gonna find out in the extended. Hello, my dear Scorpios. There is such a focus here on you setting out on your own towards this Four of Wands. Let's see if we can get some more information about what you are heading towards. Queen of Swords. So this is needing to, to communicate. The star, needing to communicate what your wish, what your hope is, but feeling very, very trapped. Look at this, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This King of Cups just keeps coming out. The Emperor. The only reason I mention the Emperor is because the Four of Wands. This is you needing to take control of your life, Scorpio. And stand up for what you want. Stand up for what is going to make you happy. Stand up for your direction. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.